so I guess this is the first time we've actually shown where the new Linus Media Group headquarters is going to be. Um, let's take a look inside, shall we? Intel's new 750 series SSDs utilizing the NVMe standard provide speeds never before seen on consumer storage drives. Click my hair to learn more. First of all, that's the bathroom. So I found out that plumbing, super expensive. So we've gone with a much more economical solution right by the front door. That way our visitors can use it. Our staff can step outside, get some fresh air momentarily before they experience that air and use that. Great strategy, right? No one. What, you clean a porta potty? You just uh, drag it out into the rest of the complex and someone else will deal with it. I don't know where the key is. I hope I have the key. Are there people in there? Like, are they working? Maybe we can get in some other way. Yeah, so I forgot the front door locks actually don't work. So we have to go around the back. Uh, this is really cool. So Brandon had a veritable nerdgasm when he saw this place because this is only, I don't know, 30 paces from our back door. It looks like it's gonna have some kind of a water feature or something here. So this is gonna be like B-roll central between all the greenery back here that in theory is gonna be landscaped at some point and this, you know, brick slash gravel slash whatever concrete fixtures they're planning to put in there should be really cool, like just a really neat place to film. All right, so there it is. I actually haven't set foot in here since, um, since what happened? Since they sprayed it. So I haven't actually seen the skeleton of what will be the office yet. Why don't I turn on the lights and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. It still kind of stinks in here. Not nearly as bad as it was right when they finished spraying. So you have got to be kidding me. Who does something like this? Okay, well, one of the things I'm supposed to do while I'm here is see if this has dried yet. Uh, it does seem to be a little bit, maybe a little bit damp. It seems mostly dry actually. So we had a big problem. Um, the dampness in the cellulose spray on material here caused it to be extremely humid in here, which caused the wood framing for some of our sets to warp. So these have been torn down and actually need to be rebuilt. So actually, since, since you've got a, a wider view of the place right now, sets are pretty much gonna be set up around the perimeter. So we're gonna have a lot more variety in terms of what we can do for sets. And I'm speaking up to talk to the camera, but I'm actually labbed, so I don't have to do that. Um, and then the office itself is actually gonna be that entire corner over over there. So uh, we have, we have a, a, pretty, a pretty good plan in place so far. Storage is gonna be kind of this middle area here. Uh, this corner right over here is gonna be like a workshoppy type set. This corner right here is gonna be the WAN show. Right here is gonna to be to be determined. Right here on the other side of these doors is gonna be a massive green screen. Something you guys probably don't know is that when I'm talking in front of the green screen now, I have to keep my arms within, like I have to kind of have T-Rex arms because if I put them out too far, my hands get chopped off because I'm at the edge of our green screen. So we're gonna have a ginormous green screen that goes all the way down to my feet. So we could do all kinds of fun stuff with that. Uh, I think it's gonna be 12 feet high, at least 10. I think it's 10 or 12 feet high. And then it's actually, there used to be markings on the floor, but it's from here to about I want to say here. Yeah, it's massive. <laughs> it's going to be friggin' awesome. Uh, over here is Brandon's B-roll set. And then over here is sort of to be, to be determined. I can't believe they're leaning stuff up against this wall. <sighs> so Ed's filming and he keeps whining about how it smells bad and it's humid in here. So I guess we'll open up one of the bay doors. 
So these we'll use for, you know, whenever we get a palletized shipment of something, which has only happened once ever. So probably we won't use these a whole lot. But there you go. We have bay doors in case we ever happen to need them. Fresh air. That's what we want them for. Definitely helps with the air situation. It feels toxic in here. Yeah, it does. All right, so why don't we do a quick tour of the actual office space then? This is the server room. She don't look like much, but uh, at some the servers. Yeah, I know. Where's That's the a, room? They're, well, they're both coming. <laughs> Um, this right here is the editing den, so you can see that's why there is so much electrical and networking coming into this place. So we've got all of these conduits for wiring, we've got lots of electrical boxes, so it's going to be set up to have three workstations per side, and then easy access to filming outside in the warehouse. So there's going to be another wall, like kind of here-ish I want to say. Yeah, it must be, I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess here. Um, so here-ish, that's gonna be the editing den. Um, on that side, I guess, yeah, let's, let's go right over here. So here is gonna be the benchmarking area. So this is gonna be Luke and uh, someone else's sort of place to hang out and benchmark stuff. It's gonna have some storage area. There's a storage closet kind of somewhere over here. Yeah, this must be it. So there's a storage closet under the stairs. Um, the bathroom, I believe, is, I want to say, oh, I don't know where the bathroom went. Well, the bathroom will be somewhere, presumably. Maybe this is the bathroom? It's kind of a weird layout, but I did know that it was a weird layout, and I think it was sort of an error in the, uh, in the plans that had caused that to happen. Maybe this is the storage closet. At any rate, uh, this over here is going to be the library. So the library is just going to be kind of a, a quiet place to work for people who want to sit and work quietly without being interrupted by others. Oh look, network wiring has been run. I had asked for cat 6a, let's see if they managed to do that. It's thick, I'll give them that. Oh no wait, no that's power, never mind. It was round so I thought maybe ethernet. All right, so let's head upstairs. Wow, the air actually has a, a thickness to it. Wow, there is way less echo up here. That's interesting. Hello? Hello? Huh. Fascinating. Well, up here, I think this. This right here is the bathroom upstairs. Um, and then the rest of the upstairs is TBD because we have no idea what's going to go up here. What we do know for now is that you will be able to access, wow, this is kind of eerie. When there's a handrail on this, this will feel a lot safer, and there will be. Um, but you'll have easy access to the warehouse from here through a hallway, and then you'll have access to the office from there, and the rest of it is completely up in the air. We have no idea what we're going to put up here. So I think that's pretty much it. Welcome to the new and improved Linus Media Group. I hope you liked this little in-progress tour. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more videos as we continue to, uh, to move towards having a, a real bona fide actual office and studio space. Thanks again for, oh right, my outro stuff. Uh, blah, 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 links in the video description. You can buy a t-shirt, you can something contribution monthly to help us pay our rent. <laughs> and uh, uh, you can change your Amazon bookmarks, one with our affiliate codes. So whenever you buy stuff on Amazon, that helps us pay our rent. And also, um, I'm sure I'm missing something. Thanks for watching and as always, don't forget to subscribe.